Okay, so we're f not really finding out too much. I think I should know what's going but. on. He asked questions, normal questions, how I felt, what I was thinking. Well then, what are you thinking? Okay, fine. What did he do to you? It's Monday. And Wait, what? Watching the present. Your life is our poetry. Everything that matters to you, Mr. Adam Newman. Welcome to the present. That you ran. Auto pit board, new John? entries. Adam? Mom? Ah, she's here. Where's she at? Adam, oh, there she thank is. God. Are you feeling better? You're looking less pale. Thanks. I. Yeah, I, I feel better. Can I go play? Uh, can he? Yeah, he, he can, of course. But no rampaging. You probably have a thousand questions. I don't, actually. Sure. Why would you? Sorry. My head is spinning. I have to finish up here. Is Governor Kane making you do overtime now? No rest for the wicked. Still the same project? Yeah, but it will be great, Adam. Perfect. You'll see. Oh, this accident. I still can't remember anything. Maybe Ask all the, the questions. Post-traumatic stress. Dr. Sykes said it'll go away. I have to get some work done. Lie down. Get some rest. Alright. Guess we'll do that. Actually, though, all right, but Berlin Central. How are you today, sir? Good, fantastic. Should I make you a no? The same day, coming call. Hi, Steve. Hey, Richard. How you doing? I'm still alive. Many Central called us. To... We were worried about you. I bet you were. Seriously. Frank said you would rest up for a bit. I'm fine. I'm coming by. I have to have a chat with you anyway. Privately. Oh, oh yeah. Jenny said you might want to do that. Everything happens at once, right? Okay. I'll see you soon. See ya. Auto pin board shows clues and current objectives. Pin board is going to be found in Richards and Adam's studies, respectively. Okay, cool. That's what that is. A word? For what? Investigative reporting. So he's a reporter. Whew. James. In an apartment, I need Steve's help to read out Simon's module. Oh, okay. I see. Are you certain you can go back to work, sir? I've got to go. I wish you a productive and successful day. Depressive weekend. Get a lot of achievements by playing this game. Berlin Central, Monday, January 13th, 2048, West Plaza. Oh boy. A little bit of a, a sketchy area. Hey man, hold up. Yeah. 
passwords, wizards, dark cloud logins. Chase here can get you everything you need. I'm not interested in your crap. Wait, don't I know you? Hey. Liar. Fight crime more effectively. Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. Nano scan cell. Takes no more than two minutes. That was property of government. Please follow instructions. Any damage caused by. Get scanned. At least one of us might have a chance. You, you won't even notice. Look at the radiologists. Oh, it's Welcome nano. It's getting nano scanned for. Uh, on I think going to Mars. For the people that they want to send to Mars. The voice. I can't even tell that says the voice. Good morning. Morning. Richard, I'll talk to you later. Uh, <laughs> who is he? That is Mr. Davis, sir. Davis? Never heard of him. Is he new? Mr. Lloyd will introduce you. He is expecting you. God, is what's the emergency? Expecting I'll go talk you. to Steve first. Richard. That's Steve down there? Come on, let's take a look at you. Hey, you, you look good. You should go to hospital more often, but rest up for a little while longer, okay? I have to work, Steve. Ah, oh, nonsense. We got Troy now. Take a break. Think of your health. What is Troy doing here? Why did Frank employ him? Well, you should probably ask him that yourself. Support for the team, that's all he told us. I see. Hmm, replacement. Terry, could you give us a minute? Of course. What's going on? Hold on a second. Listen, Steve, I've got to talk to you. It's about Tracy. Y you're not splitting up, are you? What makes you think that? Well, nothing. Just a, uh... Just a what? What makes you think that, Steve? Did Tracy tell you something? Well, Jennifer mentioned something along those lines. That you're fighting. Hmm. And why didn't you say anything? People fight. It happens. It, it doesn't have to mean you're going to split up. Look, Tracy's gone. What do you mean, gone? She said she wanted to take James to her parents and come back Sunday. That was yesterday. Have you been looking for her? I've called everywhere. She's not at her parents. She's not at the hospital. Well, she'll be back soon, I'm sure. I think she's with another man, Steve. She bought a bot. One of those base five things. Base five? What'd she buy that for? To annoy me, probably. For him. The bot has a memory chip. So? I want to check its log. The bot recorded who entered my apartment. She's leaving? Fine. But James is staying with me. I get it. Now, as far as I know, those chips are encrypted. And that's where you come in. <laughs> Just show it to me. Okay, See? it's a level two encryption. I can manage that. It'll take some time, though. At least an hour. I have to talk to Frank anyway. Hey, don't worry about them too much. There'll be an explanation. It's a Richard? cool office. There's Richard. I'm ready. Hey, all good? Hey. A drone attack by the Eastern Union within the Eastern Security Zone has caused serious... Good morning. Good morning. Such a cool city. Richard, it's Frank. Come in. Jeez. Man, what have you gotten yourself what into? What a big yeah, office. Yeah, no idea. Just an accident. You can't remember anything? Not the accident, no. What did the doctor say? They said I'll get over it. That's good to hear. <laughs> You'll have to tolerate me a little longer yet. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, Richard, listen. You don't have to rush back into it. Think of your health. You have a family. 
You're talking as if I were on death's door, Frank. I'm fine. You should take a step back. Really. Don't worry about work. We'll be fine. You'll be fine? What do you mean? Is there something I should know? Uh, wait a second. Uh, Mr. Lloyd, I have time now. A little later, Troy. I'm talking with an old friend. Apologies. Let me close the door. Okay. Now we won't be interrupted. What's going on, Frank? Listen, Richard. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while about this. We've been given new directives from the management. Uh -huh. Always management. Yes. They concern the work you're doing. Am I fired? <laughs> you can't be serious, Frank. No, not fired. We... We are just restructuring a little. We would like to have you on board as a freelance writer. You'll get a framework contract for one year, and then after that, we'll see. Complain, give up. You're kicking me out. I can't believe it. Look, you've done a lot for the voice, and we really want to hold on to you. Oh, come on. But your column. There's been criticism. So what? I'm a journalist, Frank, not a stenographer. You were a journalist. A what? A damn good one. And what am I now? You've turned into a man with an agenda. But someone has to write about these things. Mankind's abolishing itself, Frank. And what, we can't write about that now? I'm not a terrorist. Richard, it's out of my control. The decision's been made. <sighs> I understand. Can I at least keep my desk in the newsroom? Richard, we've known each other for a long time, but you have to understand. Fine. Got it. But you are always welcome here. You can keep using the cloud services. Okay. And if you need anything... I'll come to you. Hey. We're professionals, right? You know as well as I do that things can go this way. Sure, Frank. You probably have stuff to do. He's not the worst in the world. And he's understanding. It could be worse. Alright, let's see if this guy's gotten anything yet. Hasn't been an hour, wow. but... What's made you so peeved? Hey, what's up? Something happened? Did Frank put you on some crappy job? No. What then? What happened? I'm fired. What? Thrown out. Yeah. Why? You'll have to ask Frank. Some nonsense. A directive from the management. I'm out. But with a short-term freelance contract. That's unbelievable. You should get a lawyer. Ah, oh, come on. So, you have to clear your desk now? Your new colleague Troy will be sitting there tomorrow. Frank is still letting me run around here a bit, though. I can still use the network. Generous, right? How's the memory chip coming along? Oh, yeah. It's done. And? What's on it? Show me. Okay, fine. Hey, he's definitely not going to want to see it. Okay. Find a man in Tracy's apartment. And... Oh, what? Right there. That's not it. Okay. He's right there. I can see him. Right there.
How do I? I'm so confused. Damn. That's not it. Damn. That's. Uh, do I have to make the entire room? Maybe that's it. Steve, I swear to you, I'll end his life. Who is he? Richard. You don't even know what Tracy has to do with him. He could just be helping her move. Helping her move? It's obvious what's going on. Tracy ran off with this... This... And James. She took James, too. I have to know who that is. I have to get my boy back. You gotta help me, Steve. What? Identify him? Sure. I can try. Do a facial comparison. Send it through the database. Okay. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all? He must have left some trace in the cloud. Maybe he's a hacker. What about his movements? I can't check that. Maybe we can. I don't really like it, but... Move scan. We'll check his movement profile and find out who he is. <laughs> Richard, move scan is a police database. We'll find him that way. Didn't you write a huge article about that? I know, Steve, but this is about my boy. We just need access. That's illegal. And anyway, how are you going to get clearance? I'll take care of that. There's sources out there. Okay, Steve. Thanks for now. I have to go. I'll call you. All right. So... Guess we'll head out. I mean, we could have go cleaned our desk or something. Or talk to that Troy guy. Help our authorities fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime more effectively. Help our authorities implement... Boys are in the back if you need anything. No way. Long time no see, man. You need something? Hmm, I, I knew it. Where's the guy that was just here? Your friend? Jace? Hey, not now, dude. Jace is talking to Dr. Roboarm. Roboarm? About an hour ago. Are you totally sure? Okay, understood. He's a little busy right now, man, but I'm also open for business. You said you have illegal passwords. I need one for MoveScan, for some research. MoveScan? We got you. That's 800. All encrypted, of course. Oh, what do you know? Here he comes again. <laughs> I'll call you back later. What? Okay. Anything else? <laughs> I was just talking about you. Really? With whom? Maybe you want to tell me your name. What for? I like to know who I'm doing business with. Okay, fine. Richard. Mm-hmm. Just Richard? Nolan. Richard Nolan. I'm a journalist. Sure. Richard Nolan. Exactly. You got a problem with that? No. But you do. Get him. Hey, what? hey, wait a minute. Relax. I just wanna... listen to me, cop. Next time you want to pretend to buy, pick another fake name. I'm not a cop. Richard Nolan is dead. What? Says who? Says Jay. He sends his regards and wishes you a pleasant stay in hospital. Deal with him. I knew it.
And now back to Adam. accident Find Charlie. What? What a night. What? That melody. Amy? Question in this world, John. What is that? that you should be asked Data fragment. I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my mind. Or or is this some kind of stupid test? Back to Richard Nolan. Steve? Oh, Richard. You don't look good. It's fine. Just ran into a bit of trouble. With the dealer downstairs, you mean? <laughs> what are you doing? Come up here. So go back up, I guess. A voice. I think I understand the loading screen. Now, Man, Richard, look at you. You're, you're a walking corpse. Did you at least get what you wanted? Yep, here. Don't look at me like that. It's just a password. Will you help me? Fine, but I can tell you right now that it's not going to be quick. I can't do that all online. I have to get a copy of the database first. How long will that take? A day at least. <sighs> okay. I have some other stuff to do anyway. You know, concerning those dealers. Are you going to report them? You know, I'd be careful if I were you. You know what one of those guys told me? That I'm dead. What? I mean, that, that's a joke, surely. Or, or a threat. Didn't sound like it. Some guy called Jay is telling everybody, apparently. Richard, they're junkies. They're high. They hang out all day in Neverland or wherever it is they go these days. Jay, or maybe J-A-Y? Do you know who they meant by that? Maybe a hacker. Something was with his arm. Huh. A hacker. Jay, something with his arm. Augmented, maybe. Th that rings a bell. Wasn't there a, a narco? Uh, hold on. I'll send you some material from the archives. Maybe you'll find him there. Okay. Oh, man. Jack McHale. Uh. Augmented arms. Hacker. Jeff Kazowski, augmented arm. J. J. Kazowski, wanted terrorist in hiding. Ah. Uh. Hiding? Okay, but where? Connected 
connected to the Dooms. Good lord. The breakpoint hackers, probably. Page nine, okay. Maybe that. That can't be right. Welcome to the boss. Jack McHale. Okay, so much for Jack. Start again. We're killed on during a drone attack by carried out the terror state. Oh, okay. This this is something. Oh, so it is this guy. That's Jack McHale. He's dead. Have a look at that. That that. More bots. Wonderful. Mm. No. Oops. Maybe that. Missing something. Okay, that looks better. No. Here. There That's we go. Jeff Kozowski. Researcher in the field of robotics. Augmentation of the right lower arm. Luddite. Breakpoint went under the radar. Connections to Berlin's anarchy scene. Doomsday. That's an anarchist's club. I could try there. Okay, Steve. Thanks. I'll call you about the move scan search. Y you want to go to Doomsday? Are you mad? There's a raid there every other week. I want to know why I am apparently dead. Oh, come on, Richard. That's just junky talk. You're alive. Concentrate on Tracy and James. And on your health. I don't know, Steve. I don't have a good feeling about it. Why does he think I'm dead? Maybe he knows something about James, too. Alright. Well, I guess to the Doomsday Club we go. I bet you we'll walk in. First thing we'll see is those guys. Identities and brought them into circle. Oh, two tombs. How did I guess that that was going to be the route? <laughs> Sweet. I like this game so far. Interesting. Simple. Definitely got me intrigued to find out what happened. There's the club. Come on, man, let us in. Hold up. Not you. Why not? This isn't your kind of place. I'll be fine. You think so? You got a cold or a companion? Oh, it's a... Go home to your family. What just happened with the helicopter? didn't recognize you. Huh. You've some nerve to come back here. Isn't this where the scum of techno-capitalism gathers to die? In your article back then? Sorry, Faye, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Why are you standing outside? No companion code? I've been trying to reach Mina. All signals have been disabled. Mina's at the club? <laughs> Mina's always at the club. <laughs> Where's Tracy? 
Hey, does one of you have a companion code for me? Uh, not for you, man. Somebody's got to have one. Why is there no reception? I have to reach someone urgently. Currently, all signals within Super 36 are disabled. This is a measure for your security. Currently, all signals within Super 36 are disabled. Damn, no reception. Hey, what did we agree on? How do I bypass the reception? Oh, he's on it. Okay, one second. Somebody's coming. Hey, man, do you play Neverland? You need a starter kit? I can get you everything. Your houses, your ships, wings. You sell real life things too? <laughs> real life? Yeah, sure, if you're in it. You, you name it, I got it. Uh, what do you need, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah some noob. I, I disconnect. I need a companion code. Great. Give me your ID and I'll send it tomorrow. I need it. Now. Okay, forget it. You have reception? Of course. How do you get it? Wizard. I, I could get it for you, but it's not entirely legal. I get that. How much? 900? 900? I can live for a month off that much. Hey, there mm. are drones everywhere, man. You want a deal like that? Go to Neverland. Fine. And here you go. Your wizard. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Inventory. I'm so confused how this is working. Richard? Hi, Mina. Wow. Why do I have the honor? Is Tracy there too? No. Something happened? No, no, everything's fine. Huh. I think this is the first time we've ever had a chat. Hey, listen, Mina. I need to meet a couple of people at the club and... You don't have a companion code. I'll send you one. Meet me inside by the entrance. No data from unknown. Wait. Wait, so who is Mina? 21 agency, relationship friend. My companion code. Where'd you get that from? All right, in you go. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. Is that her? Yeah. All right, in we go. Doomsday. Tracy's gonna kill you. You don't have to tell her. Well, she never calls anyway. Mima. No, it's fine. I get it. Family. Kids. It hasn't been impatient recently. Oh, come on. <laughs> she still calls Jennifer. Is she still working for Bote? <laughs> you really haven't seen each other in a while. How are you? Stressed. Got three shows next week. I'm going crazy. Really? For a big designer? Yep. Front and center. Not bad. Tracy's probably jealous, right? I'm looking for a certain Jeff. Kazowski, I think he's called. Kazowski? Oh, God. What do you want from him? I just need to get to know him. Uh-huh. Well, if you need to, ask Louisa. Behind the bar. She's into guys like him. Sir. Richard, wait a second. What? Does Tracy still do... 
you know. No, I don't, you know. <sighs> don't look at me like that. I need to escape sometimes, you know. I really can't help you out there, Mina. Then at least give me a couple of credits. I'm completely broke. How is that possible? Thanks. You're the best. Hey, you come here often now, huh? Taking a break from family life? Must feel good. Well, she uh, helped us, so we should have helped her. What is this guy doing? Right when the beat drops. For being a club, there's not a lot of people here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was big 10 years ago. Malcolm. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. A certain Jeff. Jeff? Everybody knows- There's no Jeff here. I've heard he comes here often. Yeah? What's your name? Richard Nolan. <laughs> You're real funny. <laughs> Maybe we should have a drink. Oh, sure. I've never heard that one before. The narc wants to buy me a drink. What do you think of that? I got another suggestion. You finish your drink and disappear. All right, so he's no helpful. Hey, what's with Jeff? Why are you meeting up with him? Okay, that? Richard Nolan. I'll tell you something. In this place, you better not ask dumb questions. Either you know people, or you don't. You got it? I wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. If it was important, you'd know Jeff. Alright, let's go up here, see if there's anybody else we can talk to. Maybe Mina? And? Having fun? You don't happen to have the barmaid's contact, do you? Louisa? What you got planned? I just want to talk to her. Sure. If you say so. I'll send it to you. For a few credits, okay? Service so, fees and all. I just gave you money. I just transferred you some. You're a darling. I'll send you Louisa's data. Wow. 30 credits? Seriously? I'm not your dealer, Mina. Oh, God. Not your dealer, Mina. Mm -hmm. No wonder you can only get girls when they're high. You're quite persistent, aren't you? Listen, I'm not a narc. I have to talk to Jeff. What's so important? I have to tell him that myself. Hmm, not how it works, darling. I need more than that. Okay, fine. He's been telling people I'm dead. Dead? Yes, dead. Obviously, I'd like to talk to him about it. What the? I do not found. Who are you? Not important. Go to the control room for the light show. Second floor. What? I'll be in touch. We have to get the search drones off our tail, then we can talk. them go I don't see any more of them no 
Nobody back home is gonna believe this. Come up to the lounge. Carl will let you in. Thanks, Carl. You're looking for your family, right? How do you know? A little birdie told me. I have to speak to Jeff because I'm Richard Nolan? That's me. And you're Jeff, right? What the hell, man? You're dead. Yeah, I heard that too. How did you survive? How did you get out of the building? There were bots and drones everywhere. I think I'd like my questions answered first. I can't believe it. It probably happened just when the upload was happening. That's a serious override. Your mind shouldn't be here. At the very least, you should be in a coma. What are you talking about? I want to know what's going on now. <sighs> I have to talk to a couple of people first. Richard, according to our sources, you were in one of Kurt's labs about a week ago. Were you doing research there? Were you there of your own free will? I wasn't in a Kurt's lab. I had an accident. Okay, you, you don't know anything. We thought it might have been something to do with your work. We didn't find out until after the attack that you were there. I have no idea what you're talking about. Richard, you saw the news. The attack on Kurt's labs. It hit the building that you were in. I promise we had no idea, otherwise we would have- I wasn't in a lab. I was in a cab. You were in the lab. We didn't find out until after the evaluation. We could trace you. You carried out the attack? And why was I there? Tracy and James, were they? Okay, Richard, listen. Kurt's labs have been working on a project. We recently found out about it. They have been transferring enormous amounts of data to an unknown server for weeks. We think they have found a way to upload brains. Upload brains? As in mind uploads? Exactly. They're uploading people, probably against their will. Mind uploads? Exactly. And we believe they have uploaded you. Me? Yeah. That's crazy. I'm here. You are. That's the amazing part. But some of your data is somewhere else. Somewhere else? Where? We don't know exactly. It has to be some sort of digital construct. We tried to infiltrate it. We made a data link to upload a guy called Charlie, but the connection with him was severed. So then we tried to make contact with you. But I am here! Yes and no. There is some kind of copy of you. It's probably been modified. A copy? You mean a second Richard? A second person. We don't know how different he is to you and what is missing from him. Oh snap. In a moment, Adam we'll try to upload data to him from your biography to stabilize the connection. Most of your data has been deleted though. So we have to make do with second and third grade material. Relatives, acquaintances, everyone you ever came into contact with. How much data do you have? A lot, Richard. But still just a fraction of what Kurt's lab scattered. <sighs> You need a moment, right? I was in a cab. It crashed. I went to the hospital. No, Richard. They tried to upload you. Uh, and my family? They've disappeared, both of them. Did you have problems? That's putting it mildly. Maybe they left you. Maybe you left them. How did you get in the lab? Was it your decision? Did you agree to the upload? I, I don't remember. Yeah, I can't Maybe say, of course not. Knows more. But. He's a part of you. Contact him. He goes by the name of Adam Newman. You want me to... We have access to your database. It's completely encrypted. You can't read any of it. But he probably can. Why? Because he is in a virtual world. That one is me? No. That one's a virtual construct. Based on your memories, he probably can't even remember your life. You'll have to change that. What for? So he'll believe us. So he'll help us find Charlie. And your family. You'll get your life back together, and we'll know what Kurtz is getting up to. Who's we? Breakpoint? Uh, th I have to reconstruct my memory? Both of your memories. Okay, I, I guess that's enough for now, right? Go now. It's a lot of information. How, how can I contact you? You can't. I'll contact you. Phil will give you a couple of toys. You'll need them. We'll stay in touch, Richard. Count on it. So, 
the other version of him I'm confused is he actually there how was it with Jeff revealing he said you had something for me oh yeah just some standard equipment first things first a hacked ID if you get caught with this thing you're in trouble got it got it good I'll also set up a cloud call encryption for you And we're done. For now. You're off the data radar. Any questions? Yeah. Well then. Welcome to the other side of the law. Go to the terminal, and I'll show you a couple of our tricks. This terminal? I'll show you how to take control of a search drone. Go. Everything. Get a feel for the system. Get to know the controls first. Good. We're searching for a Jack. A Jack someone. He works for a virtual reality company. See if you can find him. He's bald and has a beard. If the pictures we have are still accurate. I have a feeling it's going to be this guy dancing or the guy sitting down. Okay, so bald in the beard, jack something. That's not him. Keep looking. How many bald guys with a beard could there be? He looks like a VR guy. And he's working for a VR venture. Yeah. I already scanned this guy. Wait, was this him? It wasn't, right? Yeah, bicycle dealer. Wait, what if this is him? This guy is pretty much bald. I don't think it would be this guy, but we can try. Let's try again. It's probably this guy in the corner. Yep. And we're done. Why is he freaking out? He just fell. Who is that? What did you do? Don't worry, my friend. You know the old phrase. The more you know, the less you know.
Uh oh. Oh shit, the cops. Just going in punching everybody. My God. Did nothing to them. They're going to raise their guns and just fire. Jeez. So the guy on the right there is Adam, and the guy on the left is. Who? Oh. Alright, well, right here, I am actually going to have to hop off.